Hello everyone, welcome to part 4. Then, uh, retrovirus uh, was in present with low grade fever, uh, the case scenario, and first uh, one episode of uh, hemoptysis was seen. So, which of the following in a chest x ray was given? So, which of the following will be the diagnosis? Uh, so, TB and MATS, these were the two confusing ones no pneumothorax and abscess. Uh, so, answer will be TB in that. Because, uh, because the findings of the chest x-ray, I will include the images uh, later. But uh, that x-ray, what was given, the answer is TB. <coughs> then term baby with the respiratory disease that will that resolved spontaneously the bulging fi lung fissure. And uh, it resolves in 48 hours. So what is the diagnosis? No, it is not neonatal ARDS. It is not meconium aspiration syndrome. It is transient tachypnea of the newborn. Then history of trauma. Two episodes of vomiting at the site of uh, trauma. And uh, unconsciousness was present. So what is the management? And this was the NCCT brain in which midline shift was there. And uh, this uh, concave shaped can say opacity is seen so <clears throat> burr hole and uh, evacuation of this uh, blood is the correct answer not craniectomy is incorrect and IC after burr hole ICU and observation before that we need to take the patient to OT so this is the correct answer now chronic abdominal pain with amylase and lipase are elevated, normal exocrine function of the pancreas, ultrasound is also normal and MRCP uh, showing this uh, duct opening. <coughs> so the duct division of the duct it is showing. So what is the current diagnosis? Diagnosis is uh, pancreatic divis divism. That is the correct because duct is opening in the minor papilla what MRCP is given. It is not chronic pancreatitis. It is not colidocal cyst. Or so pancreatic division. That is the correct answer. Then post post HBV infection needle prick management. So that is one liner tenofovir with lamivudine is the correct answer for this. Then MRI brain image was given with chorea. So uh, tardive tardive dyskinesia. Torette syndrome, Huntington's disease, and syndact, uh, syndactam chorea. These were the options given. So, Huntington's disease is the correct answer for that. Then, wrong statement about uh, remegipent, that drug. So, options in that options I can recall, other options I can't recall. But it is C CGRP receptor antagonist, that is uh, calcitonin gene related. But option in options it was given as CGRP partial agonist. That is wrong and that was the correct answer. Then weird, weird angle name was asked in laparoscopy. So two options were confused azimuth and manipulation. The answer is manipulation not azimuth. Now obligate intracellular organisms are which of the following. <coughs> So this was not except uh, they were they have asked which of the following is obligate intracellular organism. So Erylichia chefanesis, this is the correct answer. If the other options trifonema vipile is also intra obligate intracellular organism. But if these two are present then Erylichia chefanesis is the correct answer. Now innate immunity is better than acquired immunity in what sense? So it does not differ, differ between self and uh, exogenous antigens that is uh, not there has memory can easily recognize infections that is correct that innate immunity will recognize infections. Now match the disease and the signs so psoriasis uh, auspice sign so, uh, quashiocar flag sign is seen and DLE carpet sign is seen and in uh, Mastocytosis, derriere sign is seen. These were the match of the followings and these are the correct answers. Stay tuned for the next session.